Today we're going to be asking the question, do babies or toddlers uh, go to heaven? Um, I think most Christians would probably say yes to this, um, but you do have a handful of Christians that would uh, be iffy about it because of things like, for example, um, Calvinism teaches that uh, whether a baby goes to heaven or hell or not would depend upon whether or not they are the elect. If they are one of God's chosen ones, they would go to heaven. Otherwise, babies go to hell, just like everybody else. And then, of course, the Catholic Church would teach that babies go to a um, place called Limbo, which is not the same place as heaven, and I'm not really sure what all the details on that is. But basically, they don't believe that a baby can enter the kingdom of God, but they'll go to a place called Limbo that's not even in the Bible. So... Um, what does happen to babies, you know? What does the Bible actually teach? Well, I think the most important thing is to go by Scripture because church history is not always reliable when you're looking at these things. So I think it'd be good to actually go by Scripture. So here is a passage of Jesus Christ um, talking about children. It says, um, this is Matthew 18, verse 3. It says, And Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, and set ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. So in other words, Jesus is saying to us that we need to become like little children so that we can enter the kingdom of heaven. Now if you think about that on the surface, that would say to me that little children go to heaven. If I need to be like a little child so I can enter heaven, doesn't that imply that little children go to heaven? Jesus also says, um, you know, do not turn away the children because to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus is saying that the kingdom of heaven belongs to little children. So how, it, it just seemed bizarre to me for us to conclude that children go to hell if Jesus says the kingdom of heaven belongs to little children. So, I think with all that in mind, it seems to be reasonable to me to conclude that children go to heaven. Now, um, people say, yeah, but ain't, ain't we born with a sinful nature and all this stuff? Well, you know, um, one thing to consider is that one of the things that we inherited from our... Uh, you know, from Adam was the ability to be able to distinguish between right and wrong, right? You know, Adam and Eve did not know the difference in good and evil until after they eat from the fruit. So we grow up with a sense of this is wrong, this is right. When we do what's evil, we violate our conscience and therefore sin against God. Here's the thing, though. Little children and toddlers are not even able to distinguish between their right hand and their left hand, okay? So, to think that they are um, able to willfully sin against God or to willfully transgress God's law is not true. I had a lady one time, I think she was a Calvinist, that was trying to challenge me and say, yeah, but don't babies glut? Ain't they guilty of gluttony? And I said, well, if the mama overfeeds it, but that's not the baby's fault. That, that is the mother's fault. So, um, you know, that's not a sin for the baby. Um, so, you know, a baby is not able to willfully sin. If a baby or a toddler sins, it is without knowledge and it is under ignorance. Therefore, I would conclude based on my own study of scripture, um, and you guys can challenge this if you like, but based on my own understanding of scripture, I would conclude that babies and toddlers do enter the kingdom of God. Otherwise, I don't know how you could say that the kingdom of God belongs to them, right? Jesus says their angels always behold, you know, the, the face of God. So, um, it just makes sense to say that little children do go to heaven. Um, and uh, that's basically um, what I believe on that because... I don't think that a baby has committed willful sin. They have not willfully sinned against God. And remember, uh, hold on. It says in Ezekiel 18.20, The soul who sins is the one who will die. 
the son will not share the guilt of the father, nor will the father share the guilt of the son. Okay? So, um, we do not, we're not punished for the sins of our father. We're punished for the sins that we commit. God bless.